Yo, what's up, Gemini? Welcome to your new moon love reading. So this is from February 11th through February 26th, and we are going to dive right into your tarot cards. All right. Spirit, please let us know what our dear Geminis need to know for this new moon and Aquarius from February 11th through February 24th. What's the energies? Thank you. One more, please. I said make that the first. Okay. Wow, everyone keeps getting this Princess of Wands in reverse. So we have Five of Wands upright, Seven of Discs upright, and Princess of Wands in reverse, which is like Page of Wands in reverse. So Five of Wands upright. This is fighting energy. This is dramatic attack energy, like a lot of conflict going on. So I feel like with Seven of Discs here, this is like Seven of Pentacles. You, It's so funny to me that on this card, this tarot deck specifically, it almost looks like skulls like just dead heads here after all this fighting energy this is like after the dust settles and you're kind of looking over everything and I feel like I don't know if you've been fighting with your person with a certain somebody but I feel like you're doing a lot of thinking about it now and what's interesting is this person is pregnant so I don't know if that could resonate with some of you some of you might be pregnant but I really feel like there's something to this energy of like her being pregnant, her assessing everything, especially after all the shit has gone down. It's like after after the storm and the dust has settled, like what's going on now? And so we have Princess of Wands in reverse, which is like Page of Wands in reverse. Pages are all about like youthful energy. But you know what? In this in this particular setting with these cards, I feel like this page energy, this princess energy is like almost ignorance energy. It's like not knowing better. Um, just not being quite developed in turn, especially with this wands energy. This is like fire energy, passion energy. I feel like you feel like maybe someone wasn't quite passionate about you. Maybe that's what you were like arguing over. Maybe that's what's like going to ensue during this new moon phase for you. But I feel like there's something with this in reverse princess of wands. It's like you're not putting up with that anymore. You're not settling for less anymore. You're only settling for people that are like super ambitious about you, Gemini which I really love. I feel like that's kind of your lesson for this new moon. But some of you could be pregnant. I just wanted to throw that out there. Okay. So twice and one they said. Okay. So let us know what the energy this person, Gemini's person, is embodying for this new moon phase from February 11th through February 26th. What's the energy of their person? What's, what's the energy surrounding them? <laughs> Submerged. Okay. I love how we have iceberg submerged in Milky Way perspective. Submerged in perspective. Submerged perspective. Spears playing with me. They're not really showing what's going on with this person. I feel like something, they're, they're hiding something. Something's a little murky. Maybe they don't even really know what's going on with them. Maybe that's the reason for all this arguing because they're like not fighting for you, but at the same time, they don't really know what they want. So it's like creating all this conflict and you're just like, I'm over it. I'm over you not knowing what you want, not knowing like what you have. Peace out. I feel like that's kind of your energy, Gemini. Very air sign of you. All right, what else is going on with Gemini's person? What do they want to tell Gemini on this new moon if they could say something? I heard cut for three, four. All right, what does Gemini's person want to let them know during this new moon phase from February 11th through February 26th, spirit? Gemini's person. I said take the one on top, okay? Thank you. Gemini's person. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> wow. We have here and now, unavailable, self-care and retreat. So uh, Spirit's definitely telling you get out. With retreat, this is all about get out energy. Like, you know this person is just not serious and they don't really know what they want. So get out of that murky energy. Get into clarity and out of like... Yeah, like murky, unclear energy. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself by getting away from that energy. Be present and don't give yourself to someone who's unavailable. And in fact, I feel like this is you being unavailable to them. Don't make your availability so accessible. Don't make your energy so accessible. All right, what else does Gemini need to know about this person and what this, wow, okay, a person wants to say about Gemini. Or to Gemini, love yourself first, which goes perfectly with self-care and retreat. 
worth waiting for. But I love that it's like here and now and unavailable. And I feel like this person is like, they're always gonna have you on their back burner, Gemini. They're always gonna be thinking about you, always kind of um, just hoping, even though they don't really know what they want, I feel like they're always gonna be like hoping for you, kind of eyeing you, looking at you, but it's really annoying energy. It's like, why don't you just like decide that instead of being like super unclear, but yeah. All right, what else is going on for Gemini's person during this new moon spirit, this new moon in Aquarius? Okay. <sighs> they said, take the one on the bottom. They're both not for you. I heard that so clearly. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this one later. I have two more cards to pull for right here. What else is going on with Gemini's person during this new moon? They said, shuffle once, but pull the one on the top. Okay. What else is going on with Gemini's person? Lighten your load. Forgiveness. This person definitely wants to say sorry, and I feel like it's for being very unclear with you, for kind of like stringing you along ultimately to like crash and burn, to not like for you to just be left picking up and cleaning up the pieces. I feel like they want forgiveness for that, and they're still waiting for you. But with lighten your load and retreat and princess of wands in reverse, spirits like get away from that energy get away from it Gemini becoming who who you are meant to be manifest your dreams I feel like that's you right now and you getting away from this person is becoming more of who you are meant to be I think you are supposed to even if they do come back around which it seems like they will I feel like right now you need to be unavailable for them here and now you need to be unavailable working on your self-care retreating from this person all right what else is going on with Gemini and this person during this Aquarius new moon. So we have challenging times and healing begins. Interesting. Challenging times, healing begins. I feel like this is for both of you, especially challenging times for this person because you're not in their life anymore. I feel like <laughs> this person's really going through it without you. That's why they're still waiting around for you, even though they're acting like a fuck boy or a fuck girl by not um, making a clear decision with you, but I feel like it's, it's healing time for all involved and you need to do that separately from this person, not with this person. All right. What else is going on for Gemini's person during this Aquarius new moon? So we have <laughs> letting go and inner power, letting go inner power. Everyone seems to be getting letting go. So I feel like with letting go, lighten your load, retreat, spirit's telling you to back away from the situation, submerge from it, just kind of like go under, don't deal with it. Don't deal with it, you're too good for it. Inner power, I feel like, especially this whole like jungle theme of like tigers and lions and bears, oh my, spirit's like, you need to um, really harness this energy and kind of go forward with like, go for it with your healing and also like your passions and ambitions because i feel like that's what you were lacking someone that was super passionate about you and spirits like you don't need them for that like just trust yourself trust your own inner power and go forward with what you want so you can become the princess of wands upright all right spirit let us know gemini's um number frequency for this person what is this person's number frequency on for gemini what do they think about when they think of gemini during this new moon two and three is five they want to yep that breaks down <laughs> they want to change five is all about change and i love that that five came out here too this is about i'm um, wanting to change the dynamic of the situation i feel like this person that's why they're always going to be waiting around for you but i feel like spirits like you don't have time for that you don't have time for this person to just like wait for them and like wait for them to make a decision you got to live your life so gemini do your thing I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lovely full moon reading.